Rockstar's Eric Andres, your guitar sage here, and today we're gonna learn the top five Beatles licks that you can play today. Let's do this. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Tripper, probably the number one lick by the Beatles. Everybody knows this one. It's a super fun one. Now you're gonna learn it, okay? So, all downstrokes on this, only strings six, five, and four, we're only in the second position, meaning our finger, our first finger is behind the second fret. If somebody says second position, that's what they mean. Second, second fret, if it's the fifth position, the first finger's behind the fifth fret. In this case, we're behind the second fret, so second position, and we play the whole lick just in this position. So it's gonna start off on the sixth string, zero, three, four. And then we're barring our first finger on the second fret of strings four and five. So we have. So we're gonna bar those two and then play open on the fourth string. And really what I think is I just think about this as in, as in two parts. So that's the second part. Whenever you're learning a new lick, this is a great way to do it. Just think about it in phrases. So in this case here, the first part. And the second part. And that's all on strings four and five. That, my friends, is Day Tripper. Skelter, right? This riff is a blast. It's super easy to play. You're gonna impress some kids. Let's do it, right? So basically here we're just playing the top two strings, strings one and two, and the E string is just open the whole time. You're gonna be moving chromatically down the second string. So three, two, one. So like this. And first off, it does start with this slide from the 12th fret of the second string. So something like this. Okay, so literally, second finger here at the 12th fret. Could be any finger you want there. That's what I'm using, second finger here at the 12th fret. Second string, sliding, hitting both strings one and two and sliding down, right? And then we're gonna land on the third fret and we're gonna go down chromatically, three, two, one. So something like this. Right there in the beginning, we're kind of waiting, right, for the vocalist to come in, and then we're gonna be hanging on that note a little bit longer than what I just did. But essentially, you're gonna be sliding down to that note and then moving down chromatically, okay? And then the next two chords are this G chord, which you can play as a power, uh, power chord or an, a bar chord. You can just play a straight up E there, or in this case here, I'm adding a seventh, which is a third fret of the second string. I'm, I'm adding that note in there, which makes it sound a little bit more authentic. That, my friends, is the intro to Helter Skelter. This is a super fun one, super easy to play. You're gonna be doing this in no time. We're at the second fret or second position again. And the fingering on this, you can really do whatever you want, but this first finger is most likely going to be anchored at the second fret of the fifth string for you. And as far as the melody line, 
you can either bar or you can do as I was doing. I was using fingers two, three, uh, two, three, and then sliding three up. Or you could use two, three, four. It's really up to you. What I say about when when you know different types of fingering when you're when you're playing the guitar, one guy's going to do it one way, the next guy's going to do it differently. Uh, so really, it's what works for you. Yeah, you want to use all your fingers and not just move around with your first finger, but nonetheless you can kind of come up with your own fingering here. Okay, so this first part. We're noodling or pedaling, I should say here, the second fret of the fifth string, the A, and it's a, it's a B note. So this whole riff here is basically in B, and it's gonna go something like this. So we're walking up on the D string, zero, two, three, four, and then on the way back down, four, three, two. And friends, if you just think about your riffs like this, there's always some sort of pattern. And if you can think like this, if you can see that pattern, makes it so much easier to memorize. So we're walking up, then we're walking down, and we're just pedaling this first finger on that B note, which is the second fret of the A string. Boom, in and out. one right this is a classic blues chord progression and you're kind of basically doing this little blues lick on the one chord the four chord and the five chord and it works really nicely so let me show you here so you know we've got this got a basic blues riff going on there right or, or at least we're we're following that one four five chord progression and over the one chord the a we're going and over the four chord, and the five chord. Now what's cool about this, and as I've mentioned earlier, is that if you can find what the pattern is, there's always a pattern to music, if you can find out what the pattern is and the association, it makes things so much easier. So instead of thinking, okay, I've got all of this that I need to learn, and then there's all of this, and then there's all of this, you say, nope, I learned one thing, and I just transpose it, to each key. So that makes things a little bit easier. And in this case here, we're really working around the, the seventh chord here. We're starting this in the fifth position. So our third finger is gonna be at the seventh fret of the D string. And that's, that's gonna be our center. And then when we move up, we're just starting that riff with that note, okay? So, hitting that twice, we're hammering one to two. Okay, if, you, if you're not familiar with this too, what you wanna do is you're playing on your fingertips, but you're also muting the other strings with that finger, okay? So if I'm playing this second string here, I'm muting strings one and three, okay? If you don't know how to do that yet, just get your fingers in there and get them to muting those strings. At first it's a little bit awkward, but you really need to do it in order to play single notes on the electric guitar. Okay, so. Now for this bend, you're gonna bend up, half step. So you're gonna bend up, bend back down, and you're picking both of them, okay? Back to our original note. Now, the cool thing is, if you learn that, you've learned the whole thing, because now when we go to the four chord, the four chord's the D in the key of A. One, two, three, four, that's a D. And so now we're basing this off of the D chord. 
and we're doing the same exact lick. Nothing different, except we're in the 10th position now instead of the fifth position, right? And then when we go back down. Then when we go to the fifth chord, right? One, two, three, four, five, which is an E. Then we're sliding up to the 12th position, playing the same exact lick. And then we're resolving it with the one again. That's birthday. Let's take a look at help. This is a classic, right? And this is based off of B minor. So in the intro here, we have this. Right, so basically we're gonna follow this first melody around those chords. So we have this B minor chord playing, but we're just worried about the melody here, okay? So we have, which is a B. B, A, G, and it goes from a B minor to a G chord. Walks down through that A, and then we have G, G flat, E. G, G flat, E, and then we're on that E major chord, right? So we got This fun bit here, which doesn't, it's not nearly as hard as it, as it sounds, okay? And essentially what we're doing is we're playing strings two through five, except we're playing them five, four, three, two. And again, when we're talking about patterns, if you just follow the patterns, everything's so much easier. So for this, we're gonna take our first finger and put it on the fifth fret of the D string or the fourth string. And we're gonna take our ring finger and put it on the seventh fret of the A or fifth string. And you're going to arpeggiate, which means you're gonna play through the notes of the chord, right, one note at a time. And it's just one time through. You're not playing string six or one, which so is five, four, three, two. Now remember that because all the rest of the chords follow suit. So we're just gonna move this down a half step and do nothing different. Creates that nice dissonance in there. And then we're gonna go down another half step to the third position. Trust me, it works, okay? And then lastly, in the second position. So we have. That, my friends, is help. Rockstars, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button and also leave your comments below. They mean a lot to me. And by doing so, by leaving your comment, you're gonna let us know how we can make these videos better for you. Also hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified of all the great videos that we're doing here. And last but not least, friends, there's a link in the description of this video for the top 30 lessons that I teach all my students. Visit me here in Nashville or click on that link. My friends, it will absolutely revolutionize the way that you think and the way that you play guitar, and it's absolutely free. Friends, as always, be kind to all beings. Do the right thing always. Practice your guitar. I'll see you in the next video. I'm like, what, buff? Yeah. It's probably me. It's probably just me. <laughs> hmm. uh, do you want me to do that? I can do that all again. Let me do that one more time. Here we go. Hey, you ready? <clears throat> Testing. <clears throat> Helter Skelter. La, 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 la. Today is your birthday. It's my birthday too. I'm not gonna say that. That's weird.